Hey everyone, I'm Samir Kagarkar and welcome to Agarkar Media Academy. This is the third tutorial in Blender 2.81 tutorial series. So in the last tutorial, we saw uh, different navigation schemes in uh, Blender. Uh, in the 3D viewport, uh, we saw panning, trackballing and uh, zoom in and zoom out, right? Now we are going to look at uh, different stuffs here uh, for adding mesh and stuff like that. So let's start. We are now on the laptop screen. Uh, so right now we have three objects here, uh, which is the camera, a cube, and a light, right? So all these three stuffs, all these three objects are uh, visible, are can be seen in this tab right here. You can see we have got a camera. As soon as I click the camera here, camera here, camera in the 3D viewports get selected. Cube is this one, and light is this one. So whenever you have a selected object, then the selected object shows uh, up in orange, yellowish color, right? So right now the camera is selected. Now the cube is selected. You can see the orange, yellowish outline around the cube. And now the light is selected. You can see it glows in yellow, orangish light, right? You can of course change these colors, but we are going to use default colors for right now, right? Of course, uh, if you are familiar with uh, Maya or other stuff, other uh, uh, 3D modeling softwares, you can change the theme um, in this for this Blender, but we are not going to do that. We are just going to go through the uh, default theme, right? Now, I select the cube. Selection is just left click, selected the cube. I want to delete it. How to delete the object? Just press delete. Now. I just press delete and uh, the cube got deleted. Now control Z gives undo like all other softwares. Control Z is undo. Control shift Z is redo, right? Like all other software, it's, it's the same. Now there is one more way to delete the object, which is pressing shortcut X. Now there's a little difference. The, the same thing happens. There's no difference between uh, deleting it through the delete button or through the X button. There's just one catch here. The delete button deletes the object uh, at the, inst the same instance, right? It doesn't ask you for permission. When you press X, it asks whether you want to delete or not. That's that's the difference, that's it. There's no other difference in uh, delete and uh, X for deletion of an object. Just that X asks whether you want to delete or not. That's it. So we want to delete the object, X. Now, we want to add a new object, add a different mesh. So basically, uh, if you are in the object mode here, you should be ob in the object mode here. There are different modes uh, available in Blender, but we'll go through all of them one by one in some other video. Right now, we have nothing selected, so nothing shows up. We are currently in the object mode. We want to add an object, add a mesh, add a light, add a camera, or add something else. We just have to go to add add button now here you have all these options to add different things uh, mostly we will be working with mesh because mesh is something that we want to add mesh is the actual object which will be visible now mesh we have plane cube circle uh, uv sphere icosphere slender cone torus grid and monkey right so as the name suggests they are the same i'm not going to show you each and everything um, just that this is the plane. If you trackball it, you can see there is no uh, height to it. It's just two dimensional plane. If we just delete it, X and delete, and now add an, a cube, then cube has got width also, right? Now delete this also. Uh, let's just for last, uh, let's say we will add this monkey. So this monkey in Blender is called as Suzanne. I don't know why, but this monkey is called as Suzanne. It's the only complex object that uh, blender provides and it is very useful for uh, viewing textures and uh, shading and colors and other stuff right so if you just need a complex object you don't have anything else to do uh, you just want to showcase some functionality and you want some complex object then this is the default complex object inside of blender right now to add the object there's one more shortcut again either you can go through here or you can use the shortcut shortcut uh, if you 
for now shortcuts will be difficult for you but as soon as you uh, start using shortcuts a lot and when you remember the shortcuts then it will start getting easier and easier uh, to use the shortcuts rather than going up here and adding the mesh and stuff like that so basically what you want to do is you have two hands i hope <laughs> so basically what you have to do is if you are right handed then the uh, if you use the mouse with your right hand then the right hand will be on your mouse the left hand will be on the keyboard right the usual stuff when you play the games this is the same exact uh, theme that you follow right on one hand you have got the mouse on the other hand you have got the keyboard now shift a is the uh, shift and a right shift a is the shortcut for adding an object an object right so you can see the same window pops up here when i so here is this window the same window pops up when i do shift a right so this is very easy you don't have to move the mouse here and stuff like that wherever you are you can just add the object right so this is about adding the object and deleting the object so i think that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will see uh, even more functionalities inside of the viewport uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this youtube channel please subscribe um, and give it a thumbs up if you like this video share it with your friends and families who can uh, learn blender and learn 3d animation it would be a great help to me if you just share this content uh, with as many people as possible that will help me grow this channel this channel is nothing without you the viewers uh, and you the subscribers so uh, if you have watched this video till now thank you so much for watching the video i hope you learned something uh, from this video and the other videos that i'm putting out on this channel um, if you have any comments or suggestions please write down in the comment section below uh, see you in the next tutorial till then keep smiling and keep learning